Today's lesson will be looking at mathematics level 2 that is grade 11. We are going to focus on November 2018 question paper. We are going to look at question 3. The topic is number patterns. Let us start. This is the actual question paper. We can see that it's November 2018 question 3. And then we are given a linear pattern. The question says given the linear pattern 7, 2 and negative 3, 3.1.1 determine the general term Tn of the linear pattern. The first question should be pretty much simple. We have 7, 2 and negative 3. You know that the general equation is a n plus b a is the difference now we can see that the difference are uh, between the two two minus seven it's negative five negative three minus two it's negative five so we know that the value of a is negative five in this case so we have negative five n plus b Now to find this B, we need to check, we are going to use trial and error method. Now we know that TN stands for the number and then N stands for the position of that number. Now we can test using 7 or we can test using 2 or negative 3. It doesn't matter, the value of B will be the same. So in this case, let us test with 7. We know that Tn, which is equal to 7, 5, the position of 7 is 1, plus b. Now, negative 5 multiplied by 1, it's simply negative 5, we have 7. Then we are going to transpose this to the other side. We have 7 plus 5 is equal to b. Then from here, we can see that b is equal to 12. We can actually use another term. Remember, we are taking it from here. Tn is equal to negative 5 n plus b. And then Tn, let us use 2. So we have 2 is equal to negative 5. Uh, 2 is position 2 plus b. 2 is equal to negative uh, 10 plus b. Transposing it to the other side, we have 12 is equal to b. So you can see that the answers are the same. You can go ahead and use another term which is negative 3. So you have Tn is equal to negative 5n plus b. Uh, Tn is negative 3, it's equal to negative 5. Position 3 plus b. Negative 3 is equal to negative 15 plus b. And then we have transpose this to the other side you have negative 3 plus 15 is equal to b and then b is equal to 12 so you can see that the answers are actually the same and then from here we have all the terms we can quickly write our answer tn is equal to negative 5 n plus 12 so this is the answer to 3 point 1.1 so going back to the question uh, this will be tn is equal to negative 5n plus 12 we are done with the first question let us go to the second question it says calculate the value of t20 so we want to know the term which is in position number 20 so to do that, we are simply going to use our general equation. Then we are looking for T20, where we see N, we substitute by 20. So negative 5 multiplied by 20, we have uh, negative 100 
plus 12 this is equals to negative 88 so the answer to this question is actually negative 88 now 3.1.3 .3, and the answer to this question these are actually the steps then the num the answer to this question are the step th are the steps that you just did before this question now 3.1.3 .3, which term in the pattern has the value of negative 138 so you are looking for the position of negative 138 so still we are going to use our equation which is tn is equal to negative 5 n plus 12 we are looking for negative 1 is 1 3 what 138 138 is equal to negative 5 n plus 12 now we are going to solve for n we can double transpose so you have 5 n is equal to 12 plus 138 12 plus 138 is equal to 150 so we divide both sides by 5 we're going to have n is equal to Feet. So negative 138 is in position number 8. So it's term number 8. So here n is equal to 8. And then question number question number 3.2. We are given this pattern. Are the first three terms of a linear pattern calculate the value of x so in this case let us quickly rewrite this we have 2x plus or oh, it's actually it's actually 6 2x plus 1 and then we have 3x minus 3 So this is T1, T2, uh, T3. We know that we are going to have the difference which will be common if this is the linear pattern. So it means the difference of T2 and T1 will be equal to the difference of T3 minus T2. So we can generate the equation T2 minus T1 is equal to, actually yes, T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2. Now T2 is this term, 2x plus 1, minus T1 is 6, T3 is this term, 3x minus 3, minus, since T2 consists of more than one term, let us put a bracket, 2x plus 1. Then from here we are going to solve for x quickly, so we have 2x 1 minus 6 is negative 5, it's equals to 3x minus 3. We distribute this, We're going to have negative 2x minus 1, minus 1. Then from here, let us take all the terms that consist of x to the other side. I'm going to put them this side. Then without x, we bring it them this side. So we have 2x minus 3x plus 2x. It's equals to negative 3 minus 1 plus 5. So this will get rid of this. And then we're left with negative 3x. Make sure there's a mistake. This is 4 minus 3 it's actually 1x equals to 5 minus 4 it's actually 1 so x is equals to 1 this is the value of x that is the final answer 
so x here is equals to 1 now we can prove this by trying to substitute that x so we have 6 then where we see x here we are going to put 1 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 plus 1 it should give us 3 then we also put x here 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 minus 3 is 0 so you can see this pattern it's a descending pattern so the difference 3 minus 6 is actually negative 3 0 minus 3 is negative 3 so our answer is actually correct x is equals to 1 that's it for this lesson video this is Fahula SJ thank you very much